Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video all right so uh this is going to be Libra, Sun, Moon and also Rising uh, monthly tarot reading for the month of April and uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel guys and you do wish to support us just leave a like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our uh, uploads and as well our live streams and with that said let me just finish the shuffle, make the cut and uh, we will jump into the monthly to see what kind of a uh, experience you're going to have throughout the month so the first card for you libra that is going to be uh, the wheel of uh, fortune <clears throat> having it here followed by the second card of the seven of wands uh, moving next to the third card of your spread that will be uh, the six of uh, swords 
And uh, the final prime card for you, Libra, uh, that is going to be uh, the, the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> so these are the prime cards, uh, the additional ones. Uh, we have the Four of Pentacles here uh, to the Wheel of Fortune. Then it's going to be the Nine of Cups. And that is kind of to be expected here uh, with the Seven of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have, oh my God, the Queen of Swords. And the final one for you, the final card here as a Catalyst, that is going to be the uh, Five of Cups. So uh, uh, just from that thing that we do have at the end, I can tell you that... Um, the unfoldment and the development uh, of the aspects of this month of the enterprises is going to end up to be far better than your initial evaluation of it and uh, we can see the initial evaluation being a little bit underwhelming that is because we do have these two cards here into the second position of the spread which is what holds you back and those cards are showing that you will find uh, how can i put it into words um little to no happiness or in other words little to no reason to jump into the newness that this month is going to present you with and the newness we talk about oh my god there are going to be so many things for you to take advantage of we can see that with the wheel of fortune and the four of pentacles these two cards that is the topic of your mind and literally the topic says that the opportunities are going to be all around you okay all around you but not within you that is very important what i mean here it is that you will have an opportunity of opportunities everywhere but in your comfort zone and so that's why throughout the month you may feel a bit uncomfortable and even finding little to no reason to give a go whether a date uh, whether a, a new business project you know uh, uh, whether some kind of um, I don't know incentive that you may have around you for example friends may ask you uh, to go with them on a, on a holiday and you may find little incentive to do that for one or another reason and all that comes from these two cards where stepping outside of your comfort zone it kind of seems at least at that stage a bit unfathomable or at least for that reason a bit unfathom uh, unfathomable now let's talk about the reason we were fortune uh, with uh, the four of pentacles so we have determined that that will be many opportunities that are however happening outside of your comfort zone you have to place yourself in a bit of a unwanted unwishful and how can i put it into words um, uncomfortable position but those opportunities actually can uh, or circumstances let's call it that way those circumstances are giving you the option to really alter things around to make changes in your life exactly where you want them to be and those changes to set your life in a direction that you would very much want and that's close to mind in fact if you are doing things constantly that are comfortable to you and see no progress uh, you know into either your business or either into your love life obviously you have to do something different and uh, here throughout the month of april libra you will have the circumstances just about right and under and when i say just about right meaning with no disadvantages whatsoever to exactly do that i mean do something different something that is out of character so to speak that will allow you to truly alter your outcomes to alter your outcomes into your love life and into your career as well these opportunities many by uh, many by definition could be about few people that you can go out and date could be about few job offers that you have an option to take and so on and so forth it's just the only thing that i can tell you it is that they are going that there is going to be a variety into the options available in front of you to truly alter your life in a way you want it to be altered uh, another thing i have to tell you here about uh, these uh, couple of cards which are to your disadvantage and that is when you do listen to the negativity of others what i mean here is that uh, you will hear throughout the months 
people talking behind your back people saying you know uh, and pick pointing or picking up to uh, your afflictions let's call it that way for example some may talk about you that you are indecisive you know someone may talk about you that um, you for example waste money and so on and so forth and listening to these things creates what we call in our country a complex you try to compensate and therefore if you do listen to that you may stop spending money or you uh with the first option uh you may kind of like force yourself to make decisions when you don't have to for when you don't have to make decisions so in other words listening to these people trying to prove them wrong is going to set you off this uh this outer that we do have here is going to set you off the path for you to make a solid change for the better right it's going to be an amazing good change in your life in your love life and into your career and the only thing that listening to these people is going to create it's just petrifying you on the same place where you are at right now so another uh, another cards which are showing that is going to be outside of your comfort zone are actually these two now these two speak about what helps you throughout the month okay so we do have the six of swords and the queen of uh, the queen of swords into that position first thing that they tell us it is that there is nothing in this month that can happen to you as an opportunity or as a problem that you cannot solve it is literally you do have the power here to push through either difficulties or either through challenges through plights and as well through a uh, opportunities but as the queen is a uh, uh an, a dignity to the uh, six of swords it kind of means that you have to traverse certain threshold and that is the threshold from the known toward the unknown and those two cards additionally point out what helps you here it is that whatever happens into the unknown is going to be far better than what you already know so just for an example say somebody shows up into your life throughout the month and asks you out on a date but because that is a type of character you are not used to date you just don't know what to expect and you listen to people for example that you are way too much into dating you know and you decide you know what this time around i'm not going to do it well you're going to miss that opportunity to explain to explore the unknown and by definition these two cards are showing that the unknown is going to be far better than the known therefore that person that you just showed up can offer you so much more as a romantic incentive than anybody else around you that same thing applies into your uh, career as well or in another words you do have a dream right and tackling with already known perspectives how far did that get you to the dream and only thinking about that dream is it enough to make it happen it's not right there it, it, it's just it's not a real actions are needed and as with the six of swords where the two people that we do have here they are sailing off to the unknown shore hoping to find a better future which they are going to find a better future that is exactly what you do as well sailing off to unknown shore where the future is going to be far better than uh, what you have right now and the thing with the six of swords it is it all comes to fear okay fear of the unknown um, you may find yourself being afraid what if that person for example denies me or what if that job is something far bigger than than what i can chew up and swallow down you know or, or, or for example what if i don't like it but you have to kind of like um how can i put it into words you have to banish those unpleasant and negative thoughts from your mind because once you do so then the queen of swords kicks in and the queen of swords gives thy power to uh to pretty much push through anything and, and find benefits into literally anything and additionally to that uh this these cards could speak that you may come up to some kind of a treatment uh for your health throughout the month that is gonna prove to be very very beneficial as well but that is a very how can i put it into words specific case that we may have with those uh with those two cards nonetheless 
here taking on the opportunities that are going to come your way on the circumstances riding on the circumstances and pushing through the month here exploring new heights new horizons new new shores for you ultimately is going to bring you to a point that we do have with the eight of wands and the five of cups where you will be disappointed no more uh, literally uh, how can I put it into words? Literally everything that you do see in front of you as a development, as an unfoldment, okay, as an option available as well, is going to be not just only satisfiable, but also is going to be efficient, is going to be tangible. I don't know how to put it into words. It's just you are to see that actually you know the future may not have been as grim as you thought it to be it may not have been as morbid as you thought it was it, it, it could have been additionally to that these two cards here are speaking that no matter what you will have no losses literally no losses it's just it is within the cards moreover uh it's how can i put it into words um well, it's, it's just whatever happens with these two cards based on the circumstances you rode is going to be a surplus to you. So you can expect by the end of the month to be very, very pleasantly surprised by the person you are dating, by the job that you have signed up for, and, and, and so on and so forth. It's just here, it is uh, the, the, the implementation of these cards, it is Libra, do not judge the content by the cover right give it a chance uh, because as the wheel of fortune is on your side you can always pull off you can pull the plug right there right then whenever you feel uncomfortable with it. well not uncomfortable but whatever you just don't want to keep up going with it because uncomfortable it is it is exactly how you're going to feel at the very start of it but the appeal of the cards at least this try to give it a chance and finally by the end of the month whatever bitter taste you had from the past for whatever reason well, from your childhood for example or from recent events that you have been through uh, that bitterness if not being completely extinguished the very least is going to reduce its and abate its its bitter taste in your mouth so you have a huge chance here to end up the month in a very advantageous position in a position where you get to choose how things are to be played out how things are to develop from there on moving forward and all starts where you actually take on the opportunity of the circumstances to step out of your comfort zone and make a, uh, a once in a lifetime change in your life so with that said libra uh this was your uh, monthly tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye